What's up everybody? We're doing another one. We're talking about the Corolla today. This is a 2023 Corolla hatchback. So, um, they didn't change a lot of stuff for the outside. Mostly they a little bit different wheel style. They changed the headlights here. <clears throat> so instead of the triple J headlights, they just have one LED bar that goes over and then down. So those headlights are a little bit cleaner looking. They changed the grill a little bit, a little bit different style. Uh, and then just some different design cues on the bottom there. That's about all they changed on the exterior. The rear back here, they, the tail lights are kind of the same. They look like they have a little bit more black in them around the top here <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for the exterior most of what they did for the corolla is on the inside so they put in this ginormous gauge screen um, so they made changes to the gauge screen and the info infotainment screen so they added the operating system that the tundra has now started in the tundra the sequoia now has it the highlander now has it the rav4 now has it and now the corolla has it <clears throat> so they've got that new operating system they have wireless apple carplay um, they have like that subscription navigation thing going on um, but let's jump inside and we'll take a look at what what they did in there all right so we're inside the car now so we're just going to take a look at what they did in here. Um, turn some lights on. So they've got this big old gauge screen in here. So it's just one big screen. There's no like uh, analog gauges anymore. So you can scroll down on the steering wheel. You've got all your options here. So at the top, you've got uh, fuel mileage, fuel economy. It's got like an eco indicator, all that good stuff. Scroll down. It's got your adaptive cruise, compass. You got your music. Uh, trip information vehicle settings and then like uh, like it's gonna tell me that I need to start the car it'll tell me if I have a door open or whatever right there so all your options are right in here <clears throat> then you've got this tack and then your speedometer in the middle tells you what gear you're in we're park because we're in the showroom and the car is off so tells you everything you need to know on that screen there and then they changed the fuel and temperature gauge so they're digital as well so you've got the digital temperature gauge there digital fuel gauge there which is pretty sweet and then over here on the infotainment screen um, they changed how that looks first of all so there's no buttons down the side here anymore uh, it's just the screen and the volume button so that is nice that they left a volume button in there um, when you get in the car and you left the music on super loud, you can turn it down quick. You got navigation in here, which is cool. It's a subscription, so you just got to subscribe to it and pay whatever. Uh, I think it's like eight bucks a month or something. You got your music there. We turned it off because we don't need music, but you got all your music options there. Phone, vehicle information, and your settings. But you can do the uh, wireless Apple Car Play with this. So if you don't like how any of this looks, you just pair your phone to the Bluetooth. Bam, you got uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. You also have Android Auto, which is cool. So back here, this is all pretty much the same. This one has dual climate control because it's an XSE. It's a little bit nicer. Um, they also, you have your heated seats there. Here, let's turn the flashlight on. There you go. So you got your heated seats here. And then you have a wireless charger here, which is pretty sweet. That's new, so that's kind of nice. They still have the USB port right there. You used to have to plug into that for the, uh, the Apple CarPlay. You don't need it anymore, but you can plug into it if you need to. So anyway, those are kind of the main changes that they did. They've got your drive mode thing up here now. So kind of the main changes they did to it. Um, it looks pretty nice. I like this new system. Uh, it's kind of growing on me. It kind of, it was kind of different at first, kind of weird, a little bit different to learn, but, um, I'm starting to like it. So the wireless car plays money. That is super cool. So anyway, that's kind of the interior. So 
anyway, that's the review of the uh, 23 Corolla, all the new updates and all the good stuff. So anyway, we appreciate you watching. Uh, drop a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, thanks for your time. We'll catch you on the next one.